Hey Sam, you're going to have your first impression reaction of another re release we're doing. Probably going to come out 2024. Okay. Well, definitely 2024. Uh, all things going well, and this is going to be yeah our next release after cool. Mr. Majestic. You let me know what you think of this. Is this like finished now? Is yeah, it... this is pretty much finished. Oh, interesting. It smells like a really fougere. A little bit fougere, okay. Mm. The perfumer says it's technically a woody sheepery, but okay. Oh, okay, it could be a sheepery too. Yeah, mm. that's fine. Yeah, it smells sheepery. Yeah, it does smell sheepery. Yeah, you can smell like a lot of oak moss and labdanum. Mm. Um, it's got like citrus notes to it. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it does smell like, um, I'd say fairly traditional, mm. um, quite cheaper. Yeah. Um, oh, you can smell a bit of Amos Salasala in there as well. Um, I didn't. I don't know what I that think, is. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's nice. It's like a nice little traditional kind of, uh, like a gentleman scent, I would say. Gentleman scent. Yeah, this is like a bit more old fashioned, um, but it's not like it's not too rough around the edges. It's been like balanced nicely. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd say. Can you smell one ingredient in there that's quite expensive, is my hint. <laughs> Not particularly, what is it? What if I tell you it smells of orris? Mm. Uh, to be honest, I don't get it massively. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, um, I can see that being orris in it though. I can see it being in there. But I, yeah. What if I told you, okay, can we spray it on your skin? Are you happy to have it on your it's skin fine. itself? Maybe it will be different there. Oh, it's a big splash. Calm down a bit on your <laughs> skin. Mm. Yeah, so I... I can't spend it being like super orisy. On your hand. But um, I think it's quite complex. I can I can definitely see there being oris in there, right? Um, mm. Yeah, I think... I think maybe the other things take over a bit more okay. um, personal. Can you smell any other notes? Yeah, so I feel like I'm getting a range of citruses, mm -hmm. like a blend of different citruses. Like, you know, potentially some like orange, lemon, bergamot, something in those. Mm. Um, potentially like a, some floral stuff, like some, maybe even some geranium uh, could be. Yeah. Uh, maybe some, maybe a little touch of rose. I get like a lot of like, uh, Things like vetiver, maybe patchouli could be there. Um, definitely the biggest notes for me are like oak moss. Um, that's, I think, labdanum. Yeah, you're correct um, labdanum, yeah. That is a cystus, which is kind of like yeah. a variation of labdanum, isn't it? Yeah. And then like some salicylates, probably amyl salicylates, which is kind of classic uh, note. How does that smell, amyl salicylates? Uh, it smells a bit like, a bit like maybe a little bit soapy, a little bit violet -y, okay. um, I find. There's like quite a concoction of stuff going on in here. It, this reminds me out of your uh, perfume brand's perfumes, closest to like your first one, Mr. Fragrant. Yeah, correct. It's like a lot more, this one's a bit more, I think, rustic. It's like more traditional. Mm. Um, whereas some of the other ones have been a bit more modern, a bit mm. cleaner. This is a bit more like rugged, um, a bit more like old fashioned gentleman. Yeah, this is definitely a more mature yeah. fragrance. Yeah. This is actually my my favorite fragrance of me so far, personally. Is that but really? it's, and it is more of cool. my style. It's not as yeah. not as mass appealing, definitely. Yeah. I think it's definitely for people who love Mr. Fragrant the most, you will love this fragrance. Yeah, I can see that, for sure. This is like feels like Mr. Fragrant part two. Part two. Well, it's the same perfume, so it's his style, John Stephen. Yeah, that and, makes sense. Um but yeah, there's rose in here. Yeah. There's oris, yeah. lime, it's probably the citrus you're getting here. There is cystus, which is which I research is kind of like, yeah. uh, like similar to that. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Um there is uh, other notes in here as well. There's definitely woody molecules. Thing. This is cedar wood is the main one mm -hmm. that John said, but there's a woody sheep. I asked him to make a rose-based yeah. masculine signature. It almost sounds like there's some animalic notes. Like I wouldn't be surprised if there was like the slightest touch of like civet or something. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Uh, it, it, amber, it, yeah. It, it definitely has some an ambery touch yeah. to it. Um, I probably is kum kumarin as well. I can smell yeah. kumarin personally. Although John hasn't listened to the notes. Oh yeah, definitely kumarin. Uh... Kumarin, yeah, you can say that. But um, you actually smelled this on me before when I was wearing it on my skin, and you yeah. so you told me that. What did you tell me? Was you that the one I smelled today? No, this or... is ages back. Ages back when it was on my skin. 
on my, it was just me wearing it myself. Was this last time? Yes, it was. Oh, really? And you were suddenly telling me. Oh, wow, that smells so different. Yeah, maybe, that, maybe in the air it's different. Yeah, that smelled really nice last time. I remember when I saw you. I was like, uh, was it the same thing? It's the same thing. Really? It's that same formulation, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that smelled really nice, like the projection of it. Um, yeah. I think sometimes with these, like, more muddy notes, mm. like with these old, like, more traditional ones, they can smell a bit, like, muddied on your skin. Mm. I don't know if you smell out my skin. Yeah, I think it was nice. But uh, yeah, the projection of that last time was really nice. I was like, I felt like it was like quite a nice, I think I felt like it was an office fragrance. It was a bit of a, or it's just like a, a. It is our office release, yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice. It's, it's kind good. of like a, like a, a nice, like, a bit like in the middle, like when you want like a safe kind of uh, fragrance, it just is nice. It was just nice. You yeah. told me something along the lines of like, it smells like a really reliable yeah. man. He's kind of like the center of a family unit. Yeah. Like a reliable, yeah. mature, like office yeah. man. He said that it was yeah. my clothes. I was wearing like my blue shirts back yeah. then. Yeah. And, and, and which I thought, okay, these are great comments for the yeah. more mature office fragrance we're doing here. Um, and I agree with you. I think with a bit more, the more challenging high naturals, percentage yeah. uh, oils, you can find that the sea arch is very different. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what I found with John, John Stevie. He knows, He's, he's obviously he has like 40 plus years experience. He, yeah. he um, appreciates how in this the air, the sea art is very different to smelling something up close on your yeah. skin. And it's kind of similar to like, have you ever smelled Terre de Mez by Jean-Claude Elena? Uh, I have smelled it, yeah. yeah. That, I remember actually, I don't think I liked the smell of it so much mm. on the strip, but mm. I never tried it like in the that's sea art. So that's it's probably similar saying. effects. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, 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 that's quite an earthy, muddy fragrance yeah. up close, but actually, the yeah. sea arch is where the main effect That's is going to be. So it's, it's probably need to try this sometime. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard though to um, test sea arch when you're making a perfume. Um, I find because yeah. you're normally testing it on yourself, right? Yeah. Um, you need to kind of put it on someone else and like walk in the room or something like that. You need to just uh, spray random people yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's where the forty plus years experience yeah. I guess comes from. But yeah, exactly. exactly. So this, this is the thing. And yeah, I, I when John told me there was auras in here, I can't. I smell. I smell this quite strong on your skin because mm. he says because this is not just Oris this is one of the highest great Oris's out there and I'm, I'm, really? glad, I'm glad you gave your honest yeah. reaction I don't want to just be like oh let's hype it I like no yeah. I like I like your reaction but once you appreciate once you know it's there and obviously yeah. bear in mind guys Sam has just smelled like 12 different fragrances and we just did a video yeah. recorded our clone uh, video I think you can to be fair smell it come through a little bit now the uh, top note's gone off yeah I think now it started to dry down. I think you can start to get that come through a little bit more. For me, yeah, yeah, of course you need to experience yeah. it to dry down. But it, for me, it does, it does become a little more clean, yeah. a little bit more spark. I think this kind of sparkles and glows this fragrance compound, and it has a nice diffusion from the auras. It kind of has gives yeah. us this earthy butteriness that I've kind of experienced yeah. from this. Yeah, it's a lot of earthy notes. I think you do get that like rootiness mm. coming together from. I think you can smell a bit the auras in that heart region now. It's dried down a bit, mm. and it really comes. I think there must be like some kind of like vetiver or, or patchouli or like something like other kind of an oak moss, all those like deep, dark, mm. um, woody naturals. The general woody sheeper kind of yeah, moss, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they all kind of come together. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I, well, yeah. I, I personally, anyways, I'm, I'm not the one, I don't want to put ideas in your head, but yeah, I think I personally love it, guys. That's why I made it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, all right, we get worked on this, is why we're releasing it. Um, yeah, but... I mean, this is like less my style, mm. if that makes sense. Like, it's, um, it's definitely not your not style. Not the kind of thing that I would wear, my probably myself so much, because mm. um, I don't like those traditions. I don't, don't like them, but they're just not my thing. Yeah, is that uh, for a more mature crowd? I, yeah, yeah, I can appreciate it, like for the right person, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's kind of what the idea, that's the yeah. direction that Atrium is going in. Hopefully, by by the time people are watching this video, I would have announced that Atrium is going to a more focused, mature gentleman direction. Yeah. That's just, okay, I want to create the best fragrance for them. It's still yeah. creativity, new ideas, but, um, you know, it's, it depends on who you're making it for. I suppose creativity yeah. can be approached sure. in different ways. Yeah. So, yeah. And awesome. I just, you know, this is Oris used here is the second grade highest Oris. So, I read it. yes. That's why I still think 150 pounds for 100 ml. Yeah. I still think that is an absolute bargain. That's me, cool. Because this is yeah. an extremely expensive. Yeah, compound. Oris is really expensive. Yeah, of course, you're crazy because, expensive. Yeah. Especially the yeah. highest grade stuff. It's, it's like yeah. using the highest grade oud. There's, there's oud, real yeah. oud, that's expensive. And there's the high, use the it's highest really grade stuff. It's really expensive, yeah. Some, yeah. And sometimes I think it's not worth always. Like, I mean, it depends what you're doing. But like just to have like the highest grade mm. of like oud or Oris, compared to the next one down, I mean, it could add on like could double the price of your perfume or something like that. Absolutely, you know? yeah. Um, and you might barely smell a difference. Exactly, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to yeah, appreciate the nuances. But yeah, thanks, man, I appreciate it. We'll have this as a yeah. video sometime, just, yeah, me and you just 
chatting about yeah. the fragrance why not but, um yeah all right time.